Hello everybody, Andrea Majewski here with Dental L. I'm just going to quickly show you guys around the 2018 um, suggested um, fee guide for dental hygienists. So they're really hard to find, at least it was hard for me to find the fee guide. The 2019 one just hasn't been out yet. We do have the codes, but not the prices. So I'm just gonna show you guys around the 2018 fee guide in case you were curious. Um, I have owned my um, dental hygiene mobile practice since last year. I love it. And I'm just going to explain sort of what, um, where and how I change the fees a little bit. So for most things, what I do, oh sorry, I should go a little bit slower, um, and feel free to stop the video if you need to see a code for a little bit longer, but just remember, this is 2018, not 2019, so some of the codes have changed. Not many, um, but some of them have. So I always round up. So instead of, let's say I'm doing um, let's just say, uh, let me pick one. Since I don't do x-rays, let me just move down here. Um, and it's not that I don't do x-rays, I should clarify. <laughs> um, since I'm a dental hygienist who owns my own practice, I don't have an x-ray machine and I don't have a dentist that works with me. So no, I don't do x-rays for that purpose, but I do tell every patient that I see to see a dentist at least once a year and they can do exam the dental exam and the x-rays there. But just as an example, talking about the fee. So each unit of time in Ontario is a whole 15 minutes. So for scaling, so if I'm charging for one unit of time, so that is uh, 15 minutes, I will charge $55. So it says here at $54.80, that's the suggested fee guide, but I always round up. Not much, but I think it's just easier to do the math. And since I do offer a mobile service, I'm, I'm providing a service for them anyway. So to charge like 20 cents more, I don't think they would hate me for that, right? So just to kind of go down, but like I said, feel free to stop the video if you would like to see the codes and the, and, um, the fees a little bit more. Um, stain removal is the polisher, um, or sorry, the polishing, otherwise known as the Profi. Here in Ontario, we typically bill half the unit of time, um, even if insurance covers one full unit of time, and that's because I don't know anybody who polishes for 15 minutes. Um, if they have a lot of stain or and or a lot of plaque, and I'm polishing at the beginning of the scale, but then I have to polish again at the end, that might be closer to 10 minutes. So then I would charge a unit of time if it's cl the closer to the 15 minute mark and not closer to the seven minute mark. But just to kind of show you guys what I do, everybody's a little bit different. So I'm just, I'm not going to explain all the all the codes for you because you don't have time for that, but I just wanted to show you guys the codes here, and if I come across something that I want to talk about, that's just kind of what I'm doing. Um, fluoride application. So I do apply a fluoride um, varnish, where are you, right here, on almost all of my patients because I feel they need it. If their teeth are cold sensitive, if their enamel is thin, um, worn, you name it. Oh, sorry, my, my puppy just made a weird noise. I have three dogs, so they're just playing. Oh, I'm just gonna shut the door. They're being silly. Sorry guys, this is what happens when you work from home and you don't have patience. You are on YouTube uploading a fee guide and you forget to shut the door for the dogs. <laughs> Sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so there's many different kinds that you can pick from. Um, a lot of these codes down here, if you're not a restorative hygienist in Ontario, and if you don't work with a dentist, then they won't apply to you. But that's just why I'm kind of moving forward. For whitening, everybody always asks me about whitening. I charge $150 for a whitening. You can pretty much charge whatever you want, because um, I do about half an hour for my whitening that I use. Yeah, it's about a half an hour. So that's two units of time, $97 plus. So that's why I charge $150. But if a patient gets a cleaning done as well, I did have a promotion last month of $90 whitening if they get the cleaning too. So I might be changing the prices for the whitening. It just depends on what I'm purchasing at the time. I'm, I'm currently trying out a few different ones to see what I like um, the most. And then depending on the price that I pay, 
will be the price that the patient pays plus a little bit more. Um, what else? Let's see. So I'm kind of moving through these fast again, but please stop the video if you want to see more. Um, anesthetic, we don't do that here in Ontario. We're not able to administer that unless, of course, we're with a dentist and they're the ones doing it. Um, in Ontario here, we don't charge for counseling. I've never heard of a hygienist doing that. We just do it anyway. But look, we'd be making a fortune if we did, but I don't even know if that's covered by insurance. So in Ontario, patients seem to be very insurance driven, so that might not be the best option for them. I do charge um, oral hygiene instruction um, per every new patient because I do talk about that at every single appointment. I'm not charging them every single appointment, but when I'm taking the time, say 20 minutes per appointment, well, you should be charging for that, right? In my opinion, you charge for your time. So if you're taking the time to do that, then I think you should. I typically charge um, half a unit of time at the new patient exam or one unit of time. I don't charge more than that because as you can see, the price tends to go up. Do I feel that me talking about brushing and flossing is $169 worth? No, but is it $43 worth over a lifetime for the patient? I think so. So that's just why I do that. Um, I wanted to mention, I do, um, I do go to people's houses to clean their teeth. I go to offices, um, pretty much everywhere, but I don't charge extra for that, simply because this is the only way I can see my patients. When I start having a office in my home, then I would charge extra to see patients at their home if they're capable of coming to my home. So I would not charge extra to somebody who's in a nursing home just because it makes me feel good that I can go to them to give them the care that they need. But if I'm seeing just hypothetically a 35 year old patient who's perfectly healthy and you know they are able to come to my office, then that would be great. Me going to them, I might charge like an extra $20 more. Like I don't see me charging um, $71 more, but I might charge $20 more when the time comes and when I have my own office, but I'm not currently charging any of this yet. Um, okay guys, and then we just have a standard claim form there in case you guys wanna see that. But um, yeah, I do have this inside my course. Um, Mobile RDH Academy, if you are a dental hygienist watching this, I do offer full help. Um, if you want to start your own practice, I literally help you from step one to step, I don't know, 100. I don't think there's 100 steps, but you get the idea. So I do help you through everything because I know it is overwhelming to start your own practice. I know you have to be motivated. There's a lot of ups and downs, but trust me, it's so worth it. So if you are interested in that, I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom, but feel free to comment. If you guys have any questions, I am so happy to help. Thank you so much for listening and I'll see you guys very, very soon.